Hey guys and welcome to today's reading. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's reading is going to be for divine counterparts, divine soulmates. It's just a general check-in just to see what is going on both on the masculine side as well as the feminine side. Um, it is general so obviously it's not going to be every single one of yours situation. But if you would like a personal reading, as always, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And of course, feel free to email me if you have any questions concerning the readings. I also do offer cord cutting sessions. And just really, really quickly, I want to address a question that some of you have asked me, which is, why do I... Um, suggest cord cutting? Why do I offer this service if we can't really cut a cord with a twin flame or a divine counterpart. So the answer is that I'm not suggesting that you cut the cord with a divine counterpart, okay? And that's actually personal belief um, when it comes down to it. But what I do know is that some of the wounds that we have that can hold us back, that need to be healed, they, um, they have their roots in other people, right, in our lives, like our parents, for example, or maybe an ex. So these wounds, they play out again and repeat themselves so that we can learn and heal them through our divine counterpart. So what happens is when we cut the cord to somebody from the past that this wound is attached to, it just helps us to speed up that healing process, right? Which is also in a way connected to our divine counterpart because that wound plays out again um, in these divine connections. So. Of course, that is my take on it, okay? So other people might have different perspectives on it. This is my perspective, so that is my answer to that question. And it is a little bit more expensive, okay, than personal readings. Um, and that's because a lot goes into it, but you also get a lot out of it, okay? So hopefully that helps some of you if, you, if you've been having that question in your minds as well. So yeah, with all of that said, we're going to get into today's reading and yeah, we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy, just what's going on with them. We're going to look at their energy towards the feminine. We'll take a look at the feminine's energy and then a quick look at what might be coming up. Do also keep in mind that time is relevant. So some of the energies that come through or the messages, they might be um, pertaining to your recent past maybe for others of you currently what's going on and then for others of you it could be you know something that is that is coming up so just be aware of that okay let's get started we're gonna get a couple of oracle cards for what is going on with the masculines so let's see what is going on with the masculines currently please what do we need to know All right, we have door to spirit. Okay, so right off the bat, we're getting that. Right now, I feel like they're having um, like an opportunity window. So something is happening. There are events in their lives that's giving them this opportunity to move in this direction of enlightenment or moving in the direction of um, their, their purpose. Not only that, of course, it's going to be related to the feminine as well. Let's see what else. Yeah, the path, definitely. So this is, <laughs> so the masculines right now, they're, they're being um, greatly encouraged. And I, I've said this before, where it's like there are cycles where they get a push. It's like this window of opportunity opens up for them to take it. And then if they don't, because during that window of opportunity, there's a lot of struggle. So you might even be picking up on certain changes, either energetically or even in the 3D concerning your masculine, right? They, they're going through a very difficult time when this happens. And that is so that it can push them towards making a huge change to release whatever needs to be released, whether it be fear, a karmic relationship, whatever, and move towards their feminine, move towards love. If they don't end up moving all the way through, and sometimes they're not meant to, right? It's it's a gradual process. Um, then they get a break. It's like if th that window closes and then there's like a bit of a break where sh things are just more peaceful before it reopens again. So at the moment, what I'm getting is that that is open, 
right? Um, however, the masculine is looking at it. They're thinking a lot about it wanting to move in that direction, they do see it as being a little bit shaky, um, possibly not really trusting the path because it doesn't feel very secure, just as you can see in this, this ladder here in order to move up, almost as if moving out of a comfort zone here and then moving out up to another um, dimension almost, or just moving up to another life that feels a little bit unknown. It's like it's uncertain, not knowing what's behind those clouds. So that's what they're going through at the moment. I'm just going to get a couple more from this deck, see if we get anything else. Okay. All right, and we have Mute free will and nostalgia. Okay. So I don't feel like this is the case for all of them, but I do feel like this is the case for a lot of them, which is why this card is showing up. Um, a lot of them may have gone quiet during this time. So, and I have actually been seeing that um, quite a bit in, in my personal readings in the past, like, I don't know, month or so. Okay. So if you feel like if you were in contact and then all of a sudden you weren't or if your masculine is feeling more withdrawn um, know that it's not just you okay it's happening on a collective level I do also get though that for some of them and I feel like it is a smaller group it's actually the opposite happening and it's not that the one group is more ahead so to speak than the other it's just different it's just a different part of this phase um, but I feel like the end like the end result or like the um, the end goal is the same um, for each of them. It's just that there needs to be some kind of a, a switch, some kind of a transition. So if they were withdrawn, um, some of them may have may seem to be interacting more. If there was some interaction, they may appear now to be more withdrawn. If you have not been in contact for a long time, you know maybe you're picking up on one of these energies energetically. Or maybe even just in subtle ways, like on social media or something. Um, or maybe just, maybe you found out through a friend, for example, that they mentioned your name. You know, it could be anything. But there's there's definitely a switch. However, for the greater majority, I feel like it is them having gone more quiet. Um, and it's like through this time, though, right? This is why we have the free will card. This is something that they, that is being processed. The fact that they do... It's like realizing that, hey, you know, it's, life doesn't just happen to me. Like, I actually have to do something. I have free will, which means I can affect what happens rather than just sitting there passively and waiting for life to happen and waiting for things to be fixed. So in connection to that, why they're thinking that is because there is this nostalgia for their feminine. And so they're feeling this nostalgia and it's like, yeah, you know, I got to do something about it. And doesn't mean that they are like I said they're because in order for them to do that they need to face some kind of a struggle there's something that they need to face and I that's being represented here by this ladder but again they're being given that window of opportunity so wow okay I feel like a lot came through just with the Oracle cards um, yeah let's get some tarot though and see what else so let's just see what is going on with them just overall in general anything that wants to come through okay ten of cups judgment and the five of swords in reverse okay this is actually really really good um, there's a lot of discernments that they are making, almost like a lot of a lot of judgments, basically. Not in the bad way, though. It's judgments based on truth, like seeing the truth when it comes to certain situations, when it comes to love, when it comes to happiness. So, <clears throat> I mean, more specifically, it's going to be different for for each of the for each of you. Like for some of them, this could be in terms of family. For others, it could be in terms of other partners. Um, even relatives, you know, like whatever. But there's a lot of truth that is being shown to them right now concerning love 
fulfillment, happiness. They're making that discernment as what it really is. Um, and, you know, whether they have been living an illusion of that or trying to make something happy that isn't happy, even if that's, you know, thinking that they want to be single or that they just want to have superficial relationships, whatever, whatever the case. Okay, and then the Five of Swords is just reaffirming that here in reverse at the end. Um, not allowing themselves to be manipulated or really being able to discern who is manipulating them, who is betraying them. Who doesn't have their best interest in mind? So I, I do feel like this is revolving um, or involving other people here. And I feel like that actually came through in the like two weeks ago, the last time we did this type of reading. So let's see what is going on in their headspace, especially concerning their feminine. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups upright, and then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. There's, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, there's other people involved in their lives right now. Um, even if it doesn't mean that it's a karmic relationship, a third party, it doesn't have to be that. Um, but there are other people that are affecting them at the moment. Okay, and then the last card here is the Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, I feel like they're making a very strong discernment between, for some of them, this is between love and lust. Um, or love and something that that is superficial and again i'm not necessarily just talking about other love relationships although of course it could be um the general message that i'm getting here is that you know anything that is not inspiring to them like it could be family holding them back it could be their own beliefs holding them back whatever it is that is not inspiring them and helping them to move forward in life and it could even be a job um, being a workaholic and giving priority to that and so there's no time um, for Divine Feminine, for example. Whatever is not inspiring to them, this is something that they're trying to remove from their lives. Um, I am also getting that for some of them there's, I don't know what it is but It's like they're they're feeling like or thinking that that if they were to approach you it would create some kind of drama or some kind of conflict. And possibly this could be all in their heads. It doesn't necessarily have to be drama with other people, although for some of them it could be. Um, but I feel like they're not taking much action towards you or they're thinking about not taking much action because it's going to either create drama um, for them and maybe another situation or um, it's just going to create conflict within their own self because possibly because well you know they're seeing that difference they're they're um they're feeling that that they want love and it's like they know that they can have that with you and that's also a little bit scary or a little bit intimidating for whatever reason they feel like there's also conflict there and so that kind of scares them almost as if they feel like they're keeping themselves their lives or their, their situation a little bit more simple by keeping a little bit of distance and it's interesting because i got a very similar message come through in a personal reading um, that I just did. Okay. So let's see what's going on emotionally. All right, we have the Six of Cups in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. I do want to get one more. Just 
put them here. Okay. Ooh, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. What is happening here? I will clarify some of these. Um, because it, it feels like the masculine is actually trying to even though they, they're making a lot of discernments about happiness, like knowing that they're not happy where they are, um, again, not allowing themselves to be manipulated or seeing some kind of another betrayal. And again, I feel like this came through like very, very recently, so it's like very consistent. Um, at the same time, I do also feel like, yeah, they are trying to keep their... That's what this is, because... Yeah, Ace of Wands also in reverse. I feel like they're trying to keep their urges for the feminine like under control there's a lot of nostalgia here right as we saw in the very beginning i'm getting the same thing with the six of cups being in reverse but it's in reverse because i get that they're trying to they're trying to repress it but they can't because judgment is here the ace of cups is here they can't but they're kind of trying to, and the reason why, again, is because they're trying to avoid some kind of drama or some kind of a conflict. Like, they might feel like it's going to create conflict within their own self. Um, so maybe it's just feeling like too much. And again, it, the reasons are going to be different for each of them. But I do see them trying to, almost like they're trying to rationalize it. Almost like they're trying to figure out a way where, you know, if you are having some kind of interaction where it can be interaction without passion. And that's, you know, kind of difficult, right? Because the magnetism is there. But I feel like they're trying to kind of work that out because they do really want you in their life, but they're afraid to approach the more passionate aspect. Like they're afraid to go deep at the moment. Okay, really interesting. Um, yeah, let me just clarify a couple of these, just the ones that seem a little bit more mysterious, like that. First row is very, very clear. Let's see the second row, especially Five of Wands and Ace of Wands in reverse. They're definitely feeling like they want happiness, though, in their life. Um, and I feel like it's, like, right there in front of them, like, in their minds. But they're like, okay, wait, let me not complicate things just yet. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Um, all right, four of wands in reverse and strength. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're restraining themselves. They're keeping their sexual urges or their passionate urges, this nostalgia. They're trying to hold back. They're not repressing it. They're not in denial. It's here. It's definitely here. And they're feeling it very, very intensely. And that's why it's taking so much strength for them to hold back from that. Again, I feel like they're trying to avoid some kind of conflict. And it might even be something that you're not, you're not aware about. You're not aware of. Um, like, you know, how maybe other people are involved in this. Like, if they were to fully come forward, you know, then, I don't know, it's somehow going to, like, create conflict either within their own minds in relation to other people or with the other people. Like, it, it, it's just, it's really coming through. Like, very specific. Um, Either way, it definitely is mostly like in their own minds. Like it is, it is mostly that it will create conflict within their own self. Okay, let's move down to this bottom row. I just want to clarify this row as a whole. So let's see.
the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and the King of Swords. They're in a very strange kind of a mood here. Um, there's something here that they're wanting to release. Um, I feel like they're they're feeling this sense of needing to release some kind of a responsibility. Could be anything. It could be work related for a lot of you. And I feel like because they feel they're feeling like they need to focus on whatever that is that they're feeling like they need to focus on. They're restraining themselves. They're holding back from allowing themselves to fully um, go for what it is that they want or to act out on their urges. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing it right here with this King of Swords, like really trying to stay mentally balanced, trying to, you know, put thinking rationally over, prioritizing that over emotions. They know they're feeling this, that if they are to give in and to fully let go and move towards the feminine, like, so when I say let go, I mean like let go of this, you know, whatever it is that they're holding on to that is restraining them. Like if they just let themselves go, like they're feeling like it's going to be um, like full speed ahead. And that does feel intimidating or it feels even like that that would come with some kind of a responsibility. And so I feel like that's part of why it is intimidating. At least for now. They know that it would open up this new door. But again, again, I'm seeing that even what they're going through emotionally, it's this window of opportunity. It's this new path that at the moment is being presented to them. So, and as it always goes, you know, some will take it and, you know, some won't just yet, but that's okay. It means that they, that they weren't ready. And I know that that's annoying to hear, but, but that's what it is. Um... Yeah. Some of them are, are determined, um, but they're still resisting. They're holding back on their urges until they have fully released whatever it is that they need to release. Okay, so let's move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up in the near future. For the feminines, what is going on with the feminines? All right, we have door to value. Okay, interesting. The masculines had door to spirit, feminines, door to value. Let's see what else. Creation. Okay, and just a couple more. Yeah, it, it really feels like the. <laughs> It's like the masculines, they're being um, encouraged and pushed towards opening up their heart, towards being um, following their inspiration and releasing whatever does not inspire them to move forward, opening up that door to spirit, so the spirituality, whereas the feminines, I feel like it's actually the opposite, but that's what you needed. And so like there's this perfect balance. It's like the masculines needed more of that spiritual aspect and the feminines needed more of that grounding aspect and that's exactly what is happening here um so it's like you're you're focusing more on creating in the 3d like what it is that you are doing in terms of either work or projects or maybe even a new hobby or interacting with new people making new friends possibly um i don't know fixing your home <laughs> your garden, adding a pool to your house, whatever. Um, just focusing on something else, whereas the masculines are, yeah, really opening up spiritually. Let's see, what else for the feminines? Okay, 
Okay, and we have new direction and compromise. Yeah, so I really feel like that's the message here that, you know, you, maybe you were um, at some point, at least you were focusing so much on the spiritual aspect and what might be going on in the 5D or just, um, you know, just being, when I say 5D, it could just be, you know, thinking and imagining and thinking about the, the future and what it could entail or, you know, what might be happening on an energetic level. And it's like now you're okay, focusing on yourself, right? Taking that new direction. And I feel like even with this compromise card, it's talking more about how to either compromise between the two, right? Between spirituality and the material world, but also um, learning, the new direction is learning not to compromise yourself and your energy not to compromise that um, for this connection and to also focus on other things, yourself. So that is actually really, really positive. Let's just get a couple of cards from the tarot for you. Just any other message. And if you don't feel like this is what's happening for you, it could be the guidance for you, okay? So just take whatever resonates. And we have the devil, the judgment card in reverse, and then the sun at the end. Okay, so happy to see the sun because that's telling me that you're moving away from attachment. You're moving away from negative attachment. Um, I feel like, you know, there is something here where, you know, there was a pattern repeating itself over and over and over again. Something you weren't seeing clearly. Whether it, had, whether it had to do with your masculine or with your own self or with the connection. You weren't seeing that clearly, but whatever that was that you weren't seeing clearly or that you weren't able to make like an objective um, decision about or discernment, it's being shown to you. You are discovering that, you are finding that. It's like the sun is shining on whatever was hidden, the sun is shining on whatever was toxic. And that's helping you to move forward. And I feel like that's what is helping you to focus on, on you. Um, there was another message that was coming here through while I was talking. <laughs> and that's what happens. It's like, I'm not done talking. And then another message comes in and I have to like focus on what I'm saying. Otherwise I lose my train of thought, which happens to me like all the freaking time. Um, but then when I do that, then, then I lose that, that message sometimes. So just give me a sec. Yeah. Okay. So f this is just going to be for some of you. Okay. It's, it's not going to be for most of you. It's just for a few of you. For a few of you, there might have been something that appeared to be more negative than what it is. And that was like in your own mind, like your own negative thinking or own patterns that may have stemmed from, from the past, like unhealed wounds or, you know, um, you know, having been been betrayed in the past. And because of that, it can sometimes create certain illusions. So there could be something that, you know, you, you were have holding on to some kind of a fear about this connection. And I'm not saying that the masculine is perfect. I'm not saying that at all, but there could have been something that you were making like an assumption, let's say, about the masculine, something that was, it was an illusion, it wasn't true. It wasn't true. And I feel like the more that you take this new direction and focus on you and your own creation, the more that the sun shines on that and the more that you see what actually is true. And the more that you can understand what was actually an illusion or just a projection that was coming from your own fears or your own insecurities about something. And it could even be something hypothetical. Like, you know, if I am ever together with my masculine, that it's going to, you know, this and this and this will happen. And that could be an illusion. All right, stemming from your own fear. That's just one example, but it could be anything. 
So, yeah, and if for some of you you're feeling like there is this negative attachment or some kind of a pattern that plays over and over again in, in your mind or if you're feeling, you know, very, very down or very, like, negatively influenced or triggered, you know, allow yourself to see it from a different perspective and see, is, is, is this really true? Like, do I know this? Where's this coming from? Like, why am I even thinking this? You know, try to, try to like really go back and see where this is coming from. And then if it's coming, stemming from something from your past, um, you know, then that could be something to look into to heal that so that it stops playing out here. And so funny that I was just answering that question about cord cutting. It could even be, um, you know, a situation or a person that you could cut the negative cord of attachment to. And the other question that I get um, very often with cord cutting is, you know, does it sever the relationship? Does it sever the connection? No, it's only the negative cord of attachment that is cut, which means that it's the negative influences from that connection. You can still have a relationship with whoever we are cutting the cord for, and you can also cut a cord for somebody who is deceased as well. Okay, so let's see what is coming up in the near future, which could be a couple weeks or so for the masculines. I swear, I mean, we keep getting this card. This this card, this is the third time <laughs> that it's coming up. I actually said in last week's reading with this Eight of Swords in reverse, even though I think the last two times we got it, it was um, for the specific readings for karmic situations. But still, this is the third time we're getting this Eight of Swords in reverse. Overcoming fears, right? Um, let's see, what else? The Nine of Wands and the Chariot in reverse. Okay, there's a lot here that's going on. There, there's a lot that's coming up for them. It's really, it, it's positive on the one hand because there's um, really being able to understand their free will. I feel like that's what this Eight of Swords in reverse is. Being able to fully understand that they have free will, they have control. And understanding that they will not be, the, they will not lose control if they move towards what it is that they want. Um, it's all about releasing that resistance, releasing the resistance. Yes, it might be a struggle climbing that ladder to that window of opportunity that is being presented to them right now. But they will not lose control. All right, there are solutions. There is a way around that. So in terms of, you know, them contacting you, I don't see that, to be honest. I feel like they still see it as something a little bit like out of reach for now, like for the next week, okay, <laughs> this is short term. Um, but definitely releasing fears, definitely understanding that life doesn't just happen, right? Like we, we have free will and we can make things happen. And I feel like this is a major, major realization that they are coming to is that, yeah, you know, the path might be difficult, but they're the ones who have to take it. No one else can take it for them. Um, they're just going to have to take it. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Um, I, I just feel like they're moving a little bit slowly because they're, again, there's a little bit of that fear of losing control. Um, but definitely re resolving the fears surrounding that. So yeah, that's what we're getting there. Um, yeah, I know that wasn't, it didn't sound too satisfying right now, did it? But I gotta say what I see. I feel like overall this is really, um, this is positive because that door is open and I'm also getting here that, okay, yeah, for a lot of them they're releasing the fears. I feel like this is two different groups here as well. Like I said before, like some of them take it, some of them don't. Um, yeah, some of them are afraid of losing that control and then others are going to push through. So it's hard to know, you know, I, 
I'm sure for you it's hard to know which side you know your masculine is on and to be honest it doesn't matter it's all part of the lesson anyway not knowing either way in both cases they're all releasing the fear so that is leveling them up regardless so that the next time that opportunity presents itself they will be more ready to use that free will and and move in that direction okay so let's close this out. Oh, regeneration. Okay. Something big is happening right now. Like I'm telling you, I feel like, you know, if there was a cycle that was repeating itself over and over and over again, it's like, no, it's different this time. It's different this time. A lesson has been learned. That's done. It's like, okay, new phase. So there's a regeneration process that is happening right now. And for a lot of feminines, you're feeling this too, because it's not just for the masculines. It's also for you. Things being new, a new way of thinking, a new way of perceiving, a new way of behaving, a new attitude, whatever. Just like we said before, new direction. So yeah, a lot of truths also coming out. I'm going to leave it at that, and I thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.